Well, it's been a real nice day here in Kansas City today. Uh, not quite all the snow is gone, but I think we've reached almost 50 degrees today, and it was even warmer yesterday. I started yesterday uh, working down here in the garage because I'm a little bit behind on my repairs. I've got three motors over here to do, and uh, I've got two of these induction motors to do. This is a Victor electric motor out of a Credenza. I pulled it all apart yesterday and cleaned it up. And uh, I've direct wired a plug into it and have got it ready to plug in for the first time. I thought I'd go up and get the video camera because I haven't done a video for so long. I'll start doing some videos here again. The weather's going to start turning nice. And uh, I can get down here in the shop and start getting caught up on some of my repairs. But uh, this one cleaned up real nice and it was a good quiet running motor beforehand. I had, uh, you know, with all the credenzas that I've gotten, I had a couple of these left over. They were extras. And uh, I'm ready to plug this in for the first time. I thought I'd get the camera out for you. So let's see what happens. Uh, let's see, I need to somehow get the speed regulator put down a little bit. Let's try that, see if that will work. And it should be ready to go. Cross your fingers. That sounds nice and quiet. Of course, it's sitting on a cardboard box. That sounds good. I don't have a test board for this, but I'm going to... Uh, I took the uh, original credenza board and have mounted out or I drew out some holes that I can cut to mount this on my test board. This is the test board I use for the two springs. So I'll drill that out and mount this up and we'll see what it, what it does. It seems to be running nice and quiet, so... I think it turned out okay. This is only the second rebuild that I've done on a induction motor. And I've got one more to do over here. I'll go ahead and try and video this this one as I do it. This is what the bottom side of it looks like. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, mount it to the board. And we'll play a record on it. Okay, I've got the motor mounted to the board. I don't have any felt washers in between the mounting screws. But I have uh, fired it up. And it had a little bit of a noise in the governor, so I switched governors out. It seems to be running nice and quiet. Now there's no 60 cycle hum from the coils or anything, which is a good sign. Um, there's just a small amount of wobble to the disc. And you can see it through the, through the coils there. Um, there's a small adjustment screw at the bottom which will raise or lower the platter and uh, which raises or lowers this disc. Um, I had to do a small adjustment on that because there was just a little bit of rubbing going on. And as you can see on this right side here there's a big gap underneath. On the left side the gap is on the top so no matter which way that I turn this screw um, it's going to rub on one side or the other. I've got it set pretty much right in the center right now, but there's just a little bit of rubbing going on, and you can't hear it. I forget which side it was on now. It may have been this side. But seems to be good and quiet. We'll play a record on it. I've adjusted the speed with the strobe earlier, so...
seems to be playing at a good speed. I need to get some new records down here in the garage. I'm getting tired of that same song. Okay, I have, uh, I've let this thing run now for about 40 minutes or so. Uh, the coils are still cool to the touch. They're not cool, but uh, you can still touch them. And uh, I readjusted the uh, screw on the bottom. And there's absolutely no rubbing going on now. The governor is still just a little bit noisy. But uh, it's fairly quiet. The most, most of the noise comes when you unplug it and turn it off. I'll pull the plug on it here. This is actually a quieter motor than I have in the credenza in the house. Plug it back in. That is pretty quiet considering that there are no washers. It's just mounted to the board directly. So I'm happy with this. It's ready to go.